Countess Bettina Bernadotte's trademark is a stylish hat. She's the president of the council for the Lindau Nobel laureate meetings. This young man thinks she looks great, which is why he's taken lots of snapshots of her. Bernadotte is the consummate hostess. Later, things will be getting really busy and I can't talk to everyone. So I'm taking the opportunity now. Bernadotte opens the meeting. Nobel laureates from all over are in attendance. The world's brightest minds have been coming here since 1951. Welcome to the 64th Lindau Nobel laureate meeting. Because of the fundamental. For five days, the stars of science will be reporting to their colleagues, young and old, about their latest research and the most recent developments in their field. Look, it's swinging. <laughs> the atmosphere is friendly, but focused. This year's Lindau meeting is concentrating on medicine. <laughs> Countess Bernadotte organizes the prize winners for a group photo. It's funny, but I've never met a Nobel laureate who expected people to treat him or her with awe. All the prize winners I've met are inquisitive, curious and dynamic people with a good sense of humor. The Countess has had lots of contact with scientists ever since her father started the Nobel meetings. Laureates from other disciplines are also in Lindau this year. I'm Martin Evans. I come from Cardiff University in the UK, and I got my Nobel Prize in 2007. Uh, hello, my name is Brian Schmidt, and I'm an astronomer who lives in Australia, and I received the 2011 Nobel Prize for Physics for helping measure that the expansion rate of the universe is accelerating. I'm Aaron Chikanover. I'm a physician by education. I am on the Faculty of Medicine of the Technion, which is the Israel Institute of Technology. And I shared the 2004 Nobel Prize for Chemistry in Chemistry for the discovery of the ubiquitin-mediated proteolytic system. You can read up on their work, but what's better than meeting a Nobel laureate in person? <laughs> Countess Bernadotte opens a permanent exhibition in the local museum. It shows the people behind the prize winners. The town hopes it will attract tourists year-round. Of course we're proud. Who wouldn't be? Next to Stockholm, we're the place that brings more Nobel laureates together each year than anywhere else in the world. Especially popular are the small groups where laureates discuss everyday problems, like being a successful woman in a world still dominated by men, a topic Countess Bernadotte knows a thing or two about herself.